Hi guys and ghouls, so it's literally like 8 o'clock at night and I really wish I was getting ready for bed because <laughs> I am such an old lady but I have just come home from school and my spooky box club had arrived so of course I had to like drop everything in my life and open my spooky box club now I'm super super sorry if there are any like distracting lights behind me I've tried to like position my camera so that you can't like see too much outside my window but there's been like a crash like just up the road from where I live as you guys know I live in like a really weird like foresty area area um, and the roads are quite fast roads and people drive like idiots and there's loads of blind corners and it seems like there's been a crash literally just upside like up upside up the road a bit um and there's like a big queue of cars right now going past like my windows i've got a window here and a big window here um and i can see them all turning around and turning around in my drive um so i'm sorry if you like catch any glimpse of that commotion out the window um but the most important thing right now other than I hope people are okay. <laughs> but the other most important thing right now is that we've got the next Spooky Box Club. So I was aware that this was coming today because they do send it through DPD, who do send me not only a lovely little email the day before, but I have the DPD app. So I also get a notification from the app as well. Now, I did notice this month, which I haven't seen before, is it just like standard said, we will leave this in your safe place, the porch. So I don't know if like that's because I have entered that so many times um, but this doesn't need a signature so hopefully if you are getting it through DPD they'll just leave it in your safe place for you but it was delivered to the safe place as I said um, and yeah I'm super excited they seem to have caught up on their like boxes I've been really pleasantly surprised with how well Spooky Box Club have been doing it keeping up and we have actually been getting one a month there was that like really weird like three month period where we got six boxes and it was a bit insane but now we seem to be getting one a month and it's pretty like standard like they're pretty much to the day which is really good um, it is the 11th of March today so we will be paying for the next box in two days time so I'm assuming they had to like get this out now in order to stay on time but anyway let's get into the box itself I actually do know the theme for once um because spooky box club came up with an advert that said like self-help or like self-care box and I was like give me some of that um but I thought it was like they're doing these weird like items right now where you can only buy it online it's like nothing to do with the actual box um so I was like oh do I have to like buy this separately but it's just a theme that's like coming in a few moons time um um, but yeah so I did kind of end up scrolling through just to see what this month's was and it is Season of the Witch which is rather exciting definitely feeling kind of like very witchy vibes at the moment which is fantastic so I'm super excited to see what's in here I have to say it's quite a light box it's not like the heaviest box we've ever received it's definitely not the kind of box where you pick up and think there could be an actual cauldron in here um so yeah I'm excited to see what kind of things we've got in here I know we've definitely had like a witch's cottage box and a few other like witchy style ones um so it'd be interested to see kind of what items that are in here if they've got any repeats if they haven't um and i guess season of the witch is like so open it could literally be anything like to do with crystals or moons or spells or candles or herbs or sage or witches hats or witches boots or black hats it could literally be anything um so i'm super excited to see what is in here this month my box seems to be in fantastic shape there's no like bottom marks on it from when someone sat on it um so yeah hopefully everything in here is okay so here is the sticker as you can see it says season of the witch and it's got a little moon face thing going at the top and like are they little trees or something Yes, it looks like little like kind of tree branches coming off either side. So as always, I'm going to be opening this as a blind box. I am so, so excited. I've definitely been like in the mood for a spooky box recently. I've just felt like I've needed a bit of like a spooky pick me up. So let's see. I'll show you guys first. And I think just by like the corner of my finger, I felt that there is some packing thingy my bobs on the top uh they're just air cushions and they are environmentally friendly apparently um so they've tended to put these in rather than the wormies i don't know if it's more cost effective for them or if they work better or if they just can't be bothered to make worms um but yeah that's just packaging isn't it at the end of the day um although their packaging has changed quite dramatically in the last kind of six months they've stopped putting in like the classic like confetti and stuff in there so um i'm not sure like if they've had a packaging cut but anyway then we have the cheat sheet which is this like dark 
bra no that's like a blue like a dark bluey color so yes we will consult the cheat sheet later so first up on top i can feel something cold and long um it feels like it could be some sweets and it is and these are love hearts love hearts are actually some of my favorite sweets like i'm pretty sure these are like an international sweet <laughs> um but i absolutely love love hearts they're just like little kind of I never actually know what these are called but I call them like powder candies where they're like kind of powdery looking sweets and on them they have little messages just in case you don't know what love hearts are and it says you alone excuse me is this love heart from a stalker either way it tastes great and fun fact for you the white ones are actually my favorite flavor so when I was younger I get a pack like this or like the mini ones eat all of them other than the white ones and save the white ones to the end because they are my favorite and this white one says glam obviously it was meant for me so, next up in here i can feel some form of a box we've had this box three times in a row the first time we got like some black bat earrings which were cute but they like didn't really suit my like earring situation because i because I don't really wear studded earrings that much and then last month we got some like skull earrings which actually I like moaned about when we got them because I was like Wah! I guess they're not like sterling silver or stainless steel so they're a bit pointless and then I would prove wrong because they were stainless steel and I have been trying them out ever since that video so it's been about a month and I've had it in like this piercing here and as you can see well hopefully it has stayed completely silver I've had like no tarnishing at all and I wear this earring like every single second of my day. I was literally editing the spooky box video from last time and because after the video I knew that they were stainless steel um, I spent ages trying to take this piercing out because I hadn't removed the piercing in my third hole if that makes sense for like six years um, so it took me ages to get it out but once I got it out I put this in and I have not taken it out actually I took it out once and tried it like in my cartilage piercing and it looked really weird um, so it's definitely like a lower ear piercing um, um, and I put it in there and since then I haven't taken it out I've had it like on while I was sleeping while I'm bathing while I'm showering while I'm in the rain while I'm washing my hair while I'm in my car while I'm shopping for clothes while I'm dreaming about pumpkins I've had it on the whole time and it's been fine and it's not tarnished at all um, I am only wearing one I am like at heart an odd earring person um, so yes like I have a spare one in case this one ever breaks so should I actually show you what's in this box because I've just like gone on about earrings it does like not sound like it's a necklace it seems like something that's like it seems like it's something loose in here so let's open it up and see oh okay so there are more earrings are they oh cute oh i like these okay so these are some bone earrings these will look so cool well i need to get a fourth piercing now um because i'm running out of holes i never thought i'd ever have that issue um but these are little bone earrings now i know a lot of people were not a fan of this type of earring because they're not like fishnet fishnet fish hook earrings like your like standard thank you simply gothic like your standard kind of like fish hook hanging earring would be um these are like closed hooped ones now loads of people are like oh these are really weird shapes and they're flat and they're like are not comfortable to wear i can see what they mean it is like a flatter earring but your ear like piercing isn't just like a tunnel that cannot move um it it kind of moves and alters to whatever shape so the actual like diameter of this earring would fit through a normal piercing it's just it's not like fully circular it's flat um the only thing i did find with these earrings because I was wearing them like through the bottom of my plug so I'd like wear it between like the wood and my skin and it started to wear away the wood which was like super annoying um so these are like strong earrings um so as you can see it does have the closed hoop thing I know a lot of people weren't too excited about that last time just from the unboxings I did watch um but me personally I really like it and I've had no issues with my little scully guy i've had no issues with him like falling out or slipping out or anything um so like personally i am super happy that they're on these like little clips and then there are these cute little like silver bones i'm super hoping that these are like stainless steel although they don't feel like the nicest quality um like 
ends, but maybe I will be proved wrong. I have to say, like, the uh, skull ones do feel like a slightly nicer quality metal. As I said, I could be wrong, um, but these are just, like, little hanging bones. Of course, you get two of them, so let me try it on. I'm super excited. I think these are meant to be, like, femur bones, um, you know, like the leg bones. I can also understand what people meant when they said, like, putting these earrings in is, like, the weirdest thing because, like, the hook doesn't feel like it goes through your ear properly, um, but actually, like, once you've got the main hook through, it's fine, um, and they're, like, really easy to go on. So there you go. Oh, I quite like that, having a big bone back there, although it does look could I wear it odd? Yeah, I could wear it odd. So this is how it would look when it was hanging. I think actually it would look really cool like with the skull if I take this one out because because then you could have like a skull bone kind of situation going on. I do kind of assume that these earrings are meant to be like worn like in your like one lobe piercing but I feel they look really cool as like back piercings what have I done here? Have I like crossed them over somehow? Okay, so that's how they would look if they were together, which I think is really cute. Um, the bone, like a slight bit more heavy than the little um, skull is. Okay, like now there's someone outside with like uh, torches and they're like doing this and I'm not sure if they're trying to get my attention or a car's attention, but I'm just gonna pretend I've ignored them. Um, so yeah, I feel like those two would look really cute together, especially if you had it like either side. I think I'm going to take my skull out for a bit. I rarely have the issue when I don't have enough holes in my ears for all the earrings I want to wear, but I am so obsessed with these like forest toadstool hoops that they like take up two of my holes which is a lot of holes to take up um and and yeah i may just wear that bone for a while see how i feel although i have become somewhat attached to this little skull and all the kids at school love him okay i'm gonna actually put the skull in the box and so that's the first like proper thing in here because i don't think the um sweets really count okay so next up we have a card okay cute so this is the thank you card we got this in our previous box um it says thank boo um and then it has a little ghost and a little trick-or-treating basket and on the back it just says like thank you for your purchases if you need any assistance to email them and also to tag them on instagram this is so cute i love this little added element i know that i said earlier that they've taken away the whole like a packaging and like spooky confetti etc but they have added this cute card so I guess that kind of makes up for it so next up I can feel it feels like it could be a lolly it is it's like a little heart-shaped red lolly how random um oh that is like the strongest artificial strawberry I've ever tasted and I love it it actually does taste really good sometimes the simplest things are the tastiest okay um next up we have there's something quite big in here which feels like it could be like a fabric item so i'll go for this it feels like it could be a necklace it looks like maybe a moon let's have a look oh cute so it's like a little very simple i feel like we've had ones similar to this before it's on i'd say an 18 inch chain it does have a little extension chain as well um just a regular lobster clasp and then it just has a plain old little crescent moon pendant which is really cute on the back or potentially the front if you liked it it says sbc for spooky box club um or spooky box company but i always call it club so yeah that's what i think it's for um and as you can see this moon is like kind of fatter in the middle it's kind of banana shaped is the best way i can describe it um where the edges kind of taper off but then like the middle bit is kind of a bit thicker um but yeah it's just a very simple silver kind of moon i feel like this would literally fit with any necklace that you ever have um it's just a really simple like stacking necklace the chain is super thin and like super like elegant kind of feeling um so yeah just a very very simple kind of essential necklace i would say and as someone who owns like four 
billion bat necklaces like a little crescent moon like this would just work so well with any bat necklace just because like obviously bats fly in the night so like for me that kind of theme is continued um this is super super simple one thing i'd be really interested to know is whether or not this is going to be stainless steel um i would think that if it is stainless steel the moon would be but the chain wouldn't be which wouldn't be the end of the world because it looks like i could probably take this moon off the chain um but what would be really cool would be attaching it to one of these earrings um so yeah i'm really really interested to see they've obviously stepped up their jewelry game when it comes to earrings um so i'm interested to see if they've done it with necklaces as well because we did get the cutest actually it was a crescent moon as well like a cutest little crescent moon necklace from spooky box club and it was so cute and it was like so like dainty and i wore it to school like every day for a month and like by the end of the month it was literally dark brown it had gone the most disgusting color i still have it somewhere in my jewelry collection because i just like couldn't throw it away because i think it's just so cute but it's also like a disgusting color and i can never wear it so i'll be interested to see <gasps> oh where's my pin board i can feel a pin it feels like circular kind of um and it has like one pin back so from here it looks like like the female reproduction system okay cool <laughs> um it is a ram skull so that's cute um i'm like a little bit funny like ever so slightly funny with like ram skulls um i am like fine with them when they're on their own but for like some reason if they're on a pentagram it like freaks me out i did actually use to own a ram skull but it kind of gave me I'm not gonna say paranormal things because like I don't wanna go that far, um, but it just made me feel really uneasy. So I did actually sell that. Sorry, whoever I sold that to. Um, so yeah, I actually do like this. It's probably not one that I would like buy straight away, but at the same time, like looking at it from like the fact it is a skull, I'm like a super lover of taxidermy. I have skulls like everywhere. Um, so I guess I could like see it on that kind of perspective. And I do actually like it. When I first saw it, I was like, hmm, maybe I won't keep this um but yeah i think i will keep it it's black and silver as well which is like my favorite color combination when it comes to pins although i do like orange pins which are pumpkins um and it says live deliciously okay um <laughs> i don't know what that has anything to do with a ram skull for but a bit sure before we get to the pin i'm actually dying over this backing card i really wish i could have this as like my wallpaper on my walls and on my laptop and on my phone and just on everything i own because it is so adorable um and then we have the pin itself as you can see it's nice and shiny it's not so shiny that we lose the details but shiny enough to make it not matte um, um as we can see it does have the skull in the background which has some really like lovely little fine details to it we've got some cute little stars around it and a moon and then as you can see it says live deliciously at the bottom which again i'm i'm still not 100 percent sure on that um but as i said it does have one regular pin back and i'm gonna assume the back of this pin is silver and it just says spooky box club so i quickly need to go grab my pin board so i'm gonna like try and close the box because i definitely would be able to see in the box if i didn't okay so straight away i'm super excited because I was slightly worried because my um, black and silver section has kind of been cut off. Um, as you can see, this is like my black and silver section here and it's kind of been cut off by this colour. But in one of my pinscriptions, which I believe I haven't uploaded yet, so kind of spoiler, sorry, we did get this kind of like zodiac sign pin, which is in black and silver and it's also a circle. Um, so I'm loving that. So I'm just gonna pop it on down with this or maybe up here, yeah because then my black and silver circles match oh i'm loving that aesthetic although i feel like this circle pin needs to go like up there as well um i need to stop being so pernickety when it comes to my pins but yeah i really like that it went on there super easily let me move it down just a little bit definitely not like a pin i would buy if i saw it like on the store like yo you can buy this pin i probably wouldn't buy it um but not one that i'm gonna sell i'm definitely like i'm a pin collector but if it's a pin that i really don't like i will sell it um and i definitely don't feel like it fits into that category i i think like the more i think about it the more i like it because it is like not the haunted skull that i had <laughs> i need to get over that it was like three years ago okay so like next up i can like just feel one big 
crinkly like fabric feeling thing so i'm just gonna pull that out it was a lot smaller than i was expecting um although there's like more in here maybe there's loads of them so first off i'm thinking it's the size of a makeup bag or potentially a like pencil case i know they're kind of the same thing um it's like a5 size just like the size of the box um and there's definitely a zip at the top so i'm gonna go by the fact it's a pencil case but i'm really confused why there's like seemingly another one in here but let's have a look okay it's black <laughs> oh cute okay this is so cute um <laughs> i love this i think it's another makeup bag you guys know i love my spooky box club makeup bags that i have i apologize right now for how skanky it looks um but this is like my everyday makeup bag um and i love it it's like my favorite thing in the world i've even got like little um charms for spooky box on there i love this so much i actually bought like a second one when it came out like you can tell the difference <laughs> in them oh my goodness i do use this this one um again has a cute little bone charm on it but the kind of newer one i actually just keep my paints in that i hardly ever use but i have actually bought this one as a backup i saw it on like depop for like seven pounds and i was like i will have that um because this is my favorite thing in the world um but saying that it seems like they have sent us another one i am not gonna lie to you I love like my stationery and stuff um and like you could use this as a pencil case although to me it definitely feels like it would be a makeup bag oh I guess I could keep like my palettes and stuff in here that is a fantastic idea this is going to be like my palette and highlighter bag from now on um but yeah anyway I love like my pencil cases and stuff but I feel like over the last two years in Spooky Box Club I have got enough pencil cases to last me 45 years um Am I mad? Not really, because I love spooky stationery, but I just like don't need any more pencil cases, so I shall not be using this as a pencil case. But as I said, I probably use it for my like highlighters and my glitters and stuff. So let's kind of compare the two. I definitely feel like they are both made out of a very, very similar material. Um, and I also feel like this one just kind of needs bulking out a little bit um, because it does like fold out square as you can see at the bottom i am opening that up i am super super like impressed if we have a look inside like this one this is the newer one you can see it's just like the inside of the regular fabric in there whereas actually this one has got some form of like a satin lining which is really nice um i don't know if it's like sewed in yep it's sewn in there so i can't pull it out um but it is like a satin lining which definitely gives it more of like a makeup bag feel inside and then on the front we have this kind of like shiny like print the zip is a little bit weird like it doesn't seem to like finish off right if that makes sense like this is my like normal makeup bag which i guess like doesn't finish off fab but this one i don't know if it's just where it's new just seems really like i don't know maybe it just needs a little bit of like tampering and using and then on the front we have this design which i really really like i feel really bad for simply gothic in case she bought this box um because i know she's not a fan of spiders um but it has a spooder here and he's kind of like walking down this it kind of looks like it's a bit of wood yeah i'd say that's a bit of wood um and it comes out to this sort of like floral kind of leafy section and he's got a spooder web kind of being built around it there's a crescent moon in the background and stars and at the top it says just like the moon i go through phases which is like somewhat true although i feel like i've been stuck in this halloween phase for way too long now <laughs> for it to be a phase um but yeah anyway this is really cute i still really like this um and i like the whole kind of moon reference and to be honest i don't really care what the writing says i feel like the design is cute enough as it is um it is like super detailed and i love this kind of line work effect that they've gone for um it is a transfer but that feels like a really really good transfer it's definitely like transferred on rather than printed um but it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere in a hurry um as i said the inside is just black and then on the side we do have the little spooky box club or company 
uh, label just on the side. I am like pleased with this. I feel like it's not like a necessity item, like I don't really need it. Um, but I definitely will be using it. It feels like it's a nice quality um, other than like the zip being a bit weird, but I'm sure that will just like sort itself out with use. Um, yeah, what? What? Looking at what? The zip as well does feel like quite big and chunky so I can definitely put some like key rings on there or charms on there or something. It's probably again like one of those things which I probably wouldn't have bought if I had seen it. Um, but at the same time I really like it. Like it's probably one of those things which I never would buy but now it's in my hands I'm like oh I actually really like this. Okay this is where I am like ever so slightly confused because like the thing in here it feels like a second one of those so i can't see why you'd need to um but it definitely feel mm, actually it's like folded over i so i take that back it's a lot bigger okay so i'm just gonna check there's nothing in like the middle okay so this feels like a lot bigger i take everything back it feels like it's gonna be more a4 size so unless it's like a travel bag version like oh my goodness it's massive okay this is more like a three size I'm gonna go for a guess and the fact I can like feel handles that this is like a a tote bag um again I have like so many tote bags um but if it's cute I'll use it so let's see black okay oh cool okay it looks like it's part of the same like thing okay so it is like it says the same writing on let's open it up because that is so noisy this is smelly it smells like paint a bit i'm sure that will go this is a handbag actually this is a really nice tote bag it's a bit more like civilized than your regular tote bag um on the front it has this big like shiny um moon <laughs> basically uh and this is like really really nice i think this could be a good like makeup bag <laughs> i know that sounds a bit extreme but if you've got like your highlighters and palettes in this one put it in the bag your other stuff in this one put it in the bag your paints put it in the bag like that would be the perfect size for that or even like a lunch bag it's a really good size i have just purchased a new i say just like a month ago purchased um a new handbag from killstar it's the webutant bag and i like been meaning to make a video on it because it's probably like my favorite thing that i've bought from killstar in like four years um excuse me where was I? Uh, yes. So, this seems like a really nice, like, tote bag. The material's the same, like, thick, like, cotton feeling. Um, it has two owl handles at the top. Um, and then the actual top has a zip on it, which I really like. It's exactly the same zip that's on the, like, makeup bag. I'm assuming this is a makeup bag, but I guess it could be, like, a toiletries bag. Um, it's the same, like, zip that's on there which is fine um the inside is again this like satiny lining material which is really nice um there's no like additional pockets or anything in there it's just like a kind of standard tote bag other than the fact it's lined and it has a zip which i feel like you don't get that often with tote bags um so yeah that's really nice the back is just like plain and then on the front it has a transfer which as you can see kind of like links in with the spooder one this one has a bigger kind of moon and then it has like the spider webs in the background although there is no like spider present in this one um and you have those same kind of flowery stick things going on um there's the little stars and obviously the massive moon and then across the moon at the top it says the same thing so just like the moon i go through phases which again i'm not like mad on that because like i guess i go through like phases in food like i go through a lot of food phases actually now i'm thinking about it like at the moment i'm loving like salted caramel nuts like that is my thing but i really feel like in the next week i'll be going into a different phase of flapjacks because i am wanting a flapjack right now 
Anywho, this is like a really cute bag. The like, as you can see, these have been sewed on really nicely. It feels like a super good quality. It's like really big as well. I'm finding it quite a struggle to fit like the whole thing in. Um, but yeah, I super like this. Um, I'm not too sure like what I'd use it for to be honest, because like I have so many bags in my life. I have my handbag, which obviously I will use forever as my handbag until it breaks because it's my favorite thing in the world i've got like my iron fist like batwing backpack which i use as my uni bag because like at the moment i'm not at uni i just use it as like a traveling bag for, like if i'm going to mike's or something um um and then like yeah i don't really need a lunch bag like, again this isn't like a necessity item at all it's not something that's gonna like revolutionize my life which i can tell you it's stuff like this like you i don't know if you remember we got this like little pill box um what did we get this in like the bat box or something um and it says vampire vitamins I use this every single day of my life for keeping like my piercings in um, because when I go to school I have to take my piercings out so I just like leave them in here I also have like spare ones you can see in the little mirror um, and there's a mirror to help me change them I know it's for pills but it like works so nice and it's like so sturdy and like safe in there I just chuck this in my handbag stuff like that is like revolutionary like changed the way I live because before that I just kind of chucked my actual piercings like I took them out and like put them in a pocket in my bag and then like I'd have to like fish through the pocket and then there'd be fluff on it so I'd have to clean it and it was kind of a state and I was losing them all the time and that has like changed my life in that respect this I don't think will change my life but it is still super cute and I'm sure I can find some use for it even if it's just like a shopping bag or even if I just like save it until I am like more prepared in life and just keep bags in my boot for when I need bags which I, I'm rubbish at. Okay so um, there is what I suspected I thought there'd probably be like one like print or something in the bottom. Um, the box is completely empty there is no like confetti or anything and we have some kind of a print this way this way that way okay so it has like by the look of it moon okay this way it looks like it could be almost like a tarot card which is like really cute maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but anyway it says the moon at the bottom and then it has like bones has some trees like a swirly thing in the background let's take it out so you can see it a bit better this isn't like the spookiest print you've ever got probably not my favorite print but like it's still cute i feel like this will look nice in like my oddity shells because it has like that bone it is like a slight bit shiny as you can see and at the top it has like a number uh i'm gonna google that because i do not speak roman numeral what does x v i i i mean Okay, I found this on the web for what does 15 I, I, I? <laughs> I'm gonna say it probably means like 2019 or something. I'm so confused. It means 18. Pardon? Like what? This doesn't mean 18. Google. You lie. The cardinal number that the sum of 17 and one 18 okay i'm so glad they've put the number 18 at the top like okay sure that means 18 help i i don't know what that means it says 18 <laughs> it says the moon maybe that's got like some relevance i don't understand uh but yeah this is cute um there's not really much else to say about it it seems like a nice quality uh and i'm sure it's just gonna look cute in like my oddity shelves like i just put it at the back um i do like the fact it's kind of got a black border around it i think that's a cute way to finish it off um and yeah a print okay so as i said that is like everything that's in the box so let's consult our cheat sheet i feel like this has been relatively a successful box i do like everything in there wow that's hard to read okay so there is a witchy moon phase tote bag which is this one we have the spider floral pouch a pouch i guess this could like go in the bag like if you are using it as a handbag for like keeping your like essentials in that would be quite cute um a live deliciously enamel pin a crescent moon necklace it doesn't say if it's stainless steel 
I'm guessing it's not. We have the Moon, oh, I was right, a tarot card art print, which is this. I'm assuming that 18 has something to do with the tarot card. Um, I do actually have tarot cards, but I, like, am not at all able to read them. Um, I was, like, thinking, and I'm not sure if you guys would like find this interesting of getting like my tarot cards read by like a professional medium and seeing what they have to say about my future and my life and like if I'm gonna require a bigger house for all the pumpkins I own um so yeah I was gonna like buy a tarot reading but I didn't know if you guys would be interested in that video or not so, so do let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in seeing that in the future um so yeah this must be to do with tarot cards Chris if you're watching this please do let me know um and then we have the dangling bone earrings again it says they're custom made but it doesn't say if these are stainless steel and the definitely the skull ones they made like a massive meal about them being stainless steel so i'm gonna assume that the clip is stainless steel but this like little bone guy isn't um then we have the love heart candy hearts candy love hearts candy that's this um i'm not sure like where this lolly came in but I love it. Tastes great. That is everything which was in this witch season of the witch spooky box slab. I am actually really pleased with that. I feel like we've got a nice little mix of items. Anywho, I will leave everything that you need down in the description. I will also leave up in the corner a link to the kind of playlist that I have for just my spooky box club boxes um because i just keep them all in one place so that you can just kind of watch through it in case you've missed any um so yeah thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's anywhere you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i'll see you next time